quick review about um, helpful devices for people that have elderly parents, dementia, actually some other people can use this too. This is American Lifetime Clock and it's very easy to set. It's about nine inches diagonally, the screen itself. A couple little options you can set. Uh, we just hit a button in the back. The menu is real easy to set too. There's the menu. You can change 24 hour format, all that. Actually keeps the time when the power's out. You unplug it. Which one is which? I don't know. But it doesn't stay on. It's got a little watch battery. A way to alleviate that is buy a little battery backup device for a home computer. They're like 40 bucks, 30 bucks, and that'll keep it running for ooh, hours. Um, this is about $50, $60 in a store. I got this one a little over 30 bucks in a damaged box on Fleabay. Very helpful when they get confused and stuff like that. Um, so the battery backup device will take care of that if it power goes out. We actually got that for the phone so the phone doesn't go dead. Um, now this thing is a very useful device. I've reviewed another one too, Philips Lifeline. A little more expensive, it's just a monthly service charge of like 60 bucks, but it's bulletproof and holds up to 30 days. These things are about 125 ish dollars new. You can actually find them, I've seen them at Walgreens, CVS might have them. Uh, we bought a couple used on eBay. These use standard power supply, so if you can find one that doesn't have the power supply, you can look in your junk drawer for power supply for a uh, computer router, some of the 12 volt power supplies. This is also battery backup, but when you unplug it, Time doesn't display, but I believe it still goes, still keeps servicing yourself, uh, the, your clients, even with the power off. And still got the time. This battery has not been plugged in for a long time. I got a lock, so they can't get into it as easy. Um, this company's very good about parts. A lock is like two, two, three bucks from them. So, a key, excuse me. Um, they have to work on them. You can get gears for them really, really cheap. Two or three dollars for the gears. Um, and this goes in there. The reason gears get stuck is because the person sticks their hand in there and just advances it. So after enough times, it can get ruined. This, if you do it two times a day, will hold uh, seven days supply. And this goes round and round and round. We'll do a test. And then this would be on here, and we would push this up. We would push this lever up, and it goes off. Um, me, since we're doing two times, we did two times a day. The more you consolidate, the more it lasts. One, two, one, two. One is morning, after, then two is evening. They sell these uh, things here too, so you can put the plate over it. If you want to do three times a day or four times a day, four times a day, you're definitely going to have less time for them. Um, these are pretty dependable devices. So the only issue is our person was sticking their hand, trying to get more dosages in there. Um, here's one taken apart. Here's the gears. They're only three, four bucks for the gears. They go break, they come out that easy. Um, this actually gets access real easy. This little cover comes off real easy. You can order extra these plates and you can order a cover that goes on top of it to keep it in line. Battery is hiding under here. It's just a self uh, cordless foam battery too, but they, well, they do sell them too on their site. So um, that's pretty much it. Quick and dirty review. Um, this we've, we've had these for a while. We just had an undependable person who loved to go into their meds. Um, these are very good power outages. They last, ooh, I think at least a day off the battery. Um, and then this one, pretty good too. I don't know how long, but it's got a watch battery in there, so it should last a couple days. Come with a $40 battery backup from the local computer store or even some hardware store sell it. You should be okay. If you need them to last a lot longer than that. Okay, that's my quick and dirty review on these. You can check my other one for the Philip Life Slime Machine. Um, these are some help for your people that get confused with the time and date and when their pills are due. Also, tip: we took a big piece of paper and put it on the wall, a couple spots, with the computer, big bold font, big bold letters that say what time the pills come out, and it's sitting on the walls of the house so they know when their pills are coming out. Um, cause they get confused. So it says like 8 AM, 9 PM. And so I didn't do it by hand. I did it with the computer. So it's big and bold. So it makes it a lot easier and the biggest font we could do and nothing really written out on the paper. So it doesn't confuse them. Nothing for them to read. It says pill times, eight o'clock AM, 
9 o'clock p.m. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps you, gives you some advice and what to do.